I've got a box here. If you take this regular box, go to the Shape Format tab on the ribbon and choose Shape Effects, you've got a few options here that you should never really touch because they're not very good, but you can choose here something like 3D Rotation and that will allow this to, to rotate like that. And if you go to another slide with the same box and go again to Shape Format and Shape Effects and 3D Rotation and do that, and then if you go to the Transitions tab and apply the More Transition, it'll do that and you think, okay, great, yeah, fine. What if you were to take that further? I've got a box here. Okay, yeah, that's great. Let's go to Shape Format, Shape Effects, Bevel, um, and for 3D Rotation, do that. And then Shape Effects and Bevel, and if you go to 3D Rotation, not any of these, and the options there, if you add in just the depth, it doesn't look quite so bad. And you create this. Oh yeah, that is lovely, actually. That's, that's very nice. And then, of course, you can have a load of them like this. And you could perhaps change that so that they are now also on a 3D rotation like that. Oh yeah, cool, that, that's really nice. And then what you could do is you could apply the morph transition to that. So, oh, you know what? <laughs> it's rather nice, isn't it? And then you could start to do all sorts of interesting things if you were to have grouped elements that were to give you a true isometric feel. Because trying to get this right in standard PowerPoint with individual elements is really hard, but grouping them together can do some really fun stuff, including, for instance, making a little level for a game. And so you can have a character jumping around, you can change the colors, you can start to bob things around. If you really want to get into it, ooh, really cool stuff you wouldn't necessarily think is PowerPoint.